on March 11th, 2022, the world finally got to play WWE 2K22, and this would be the first time a WWE game would come out in two and a half years. After how everybody felt about WWE 2K20, it was nice to see another game was finally coming back. And with 2K23 coming out, it's time to figure out, was this a good game or not? Was it worth the buy? Now I'm going to tell you what I think, and then I'm going to have a few content creators talk about it themselves. But let's get right into it. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, turn that bell notification so you get notified every time I drop a video. And if you're looking to go to a wrestling event, a concert, a football game, the XFL games, whatever, make sure to get your tickets off of SeatGeek and use code WrestleSpot at checkout so you can save $20 off your first purchase. But without further ado, hit the intro. First, let me just say, I think WWE 2K22, without a doubt, did its job. And that was be better than 2K20. On hindsight, that's not a very tough job to do with what we got out of 2K20, but big positive in the game, I had somewhat fun. At, at least in the beginning, I had a lot of fun. Somewhere around a couple months after the game came out, I kind of like got bored of it after all the DLC was finished rolling out. I really didn't feel a reason to play it that much anymore. But the easiest way to talk about this game is talk about it mode by mode. So let's start with my faction. Talking about my faction first, because that's probably the easiest one to talk about, because I did not play it that much. I do. I've said this before in another video, but I, but I do think my faction going online is going to give the mode a lot of replay value now because personally I'm a person that loves Ultimate Team and Madden, my team in NBA 2K I know people love Ultimate Team in FIFA and I, f I feel like a big factor is that is because you can take your team that you build you know that you grind for and you can play online with them and I think that's what was missing out of WWE 2K22 maybe a better challenge system hopefully we get more information because the game does come out in at least when I'm recording this 12 days but my faction in WWE 2K22 was an L. Alright, so let's talk about my GM. Now, my GM had been out of WWE games for 15 years. I think the last one was SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. I was so excited for my GM, but I don't know what it was. I just played it the first couple weeks, and that was about it. I haven't touched that mode since. That's definitely something... I know they're bringing it back, so there's definitely something there that needs to be... I don't want to see like a complete like re revamp, but it needs something big. My GM in WWE 2K22, I'm going to have to give it an L. So my rise, I mostly enjoyed my rise. I don't have much of the story there anymore, but this one, this one was a big step up because I remember 16 and 17, maybe 18, the the my rise in there was just like finish the story and that was about it. And then it was just week to week, kind of like you're playing universe mode as one superstar the whole time. This one, there was a bunch of stories you can get through, and um, I think my rise was a W. So, all right, so a fan favorite, but doesn't really change much but it's kind of the sandbox mode that lets you run the show. It's universe mode. I feel like there's no such thing as a bad universe mode. I do think it's very limited. Um, you don't get to choose the cutscenes, but they're saying it's going to be much different in 2K23, so I'm going to be positive on it. This one, I feel like I can't give universe mode an L. There's just, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the other creators that I'm going to talk to get more in, in depth on that. But for me, the universe mode's a W all the time. I like universe mode. I don't feel like I feel like it has to be really bad for it to be an L. I don't think it was bad. Okay, so showcase mode was not gonna take long at all. I like showcase mode. Rey Mysterio's career was really fun to play through. Excited to see what they do with John Cena's, but yeah, showcase mode was a W. All right, now the match gameplay itself. Okay, so there's things I love and don't like. I'm not gonna say hate. I, I just don't like some of the things. Things I don't like is the stun meter, how fast it can go up sometimes. You open the match and right away, boom. The AI is not is not the smartest in the game. Reversal system, I love the reversal system. I love the combo system. I think the gameplay is really smooth and I really liked it. And I like that they're not really changing much as far as gameplay wise in 2K23. So I'm gonna have fun with that. I think the gameplay is a W. Now I have some general questions that some content creators are gonna answer. Alright, so I have two creators here to talk about their experience with 2K22 and what they hope to get out of 2K23 with some of the questions I just asked. So let's start with JC Pentagon. What are my general thoughts on WWE 2K22? It wasn't fantastic, it wasn't terrible, but it certainly did its job. And its job was to be better than that dog shit 2K20. I mean, it had its bright spots, the gameplay was a step up for me, my rise was definitely something. My faction, meh. I'm not a complainer, I don't nitpick stuff too much, and have nearly as many glitches as I did in 2K20. So overall, it was a good buy. It kickstarted my channel. I mean, what do I hope to see from 2K23? A little bit more creative freedom. Let me do some weird stuff that I wasn't able to do in 2K22. And just a lot of freedom, really, is what I'm trying to get at here. And a goddamn update to universe mode, please. I've been WrestleTalk's number one minor, JC Pentagon. You can find me every single place on the planet as JC Pentagon. You're going to see a lot of 2K23 from me with other people. I'm just gonna, It's just going to be a fun year, hopefully, assuming the game doesn't, you know, suck. But I don't think it will. Peace out. I know I did too much, but it's all right. All right so shout out to JC Pentagon, go follow him everywhere, subscribe to his YouTube. But up next, we got my boy Loft Not Famous. He's gonna talk to us a little bit about everything, and I think you're gonna like what he has to say. All right, what's up, everybody? I go by the name of Loft Not Famous. You can follow me everywhere at Loft Not Famous. 
Thank you, WrestleSpot, for allowing me on your channel to talk about WWE 2K22. 2K22 is not a must buy, okay? It's not something that you need to get. It's something that is, is nice to have if you want to play a wrestling game. And considering that this is the only mainstream wrestling game that's out right now, it's probably going to be beneficial if you want to play a wrestling game to buy this because it's it's there, you know? Um, it's a huge improvement from 2K20. I definitely see why they took a year off skipping 2K21 to put more effort into this game because there's a lot of things that this game does very well um, as far as graphics, gameplay improvement, um, realism as far as how accurate it looks from what you're seeing on TV. But there are certain things like how bare bone gym mode is. Universe mode, you can't do tag team finishers. The game sometimes is outright crashing if you have too many slots in your de deletion utility. It is certain stuff like that that make the game not unplayable, but very frustrating to play at times when you're trying to build something. Going back to really GM mode, I think it was nice to have GM mode there. Um, there's certain stuff that they had in the SVR 2007 and 2008 games that just simply weren't in this game, and I don't know why. And they tried to push it, oh, we're bringing GM mode back, and it didn't connect the way it was supposed to. And, and I think that's just an execution of not us, execution on their part. Um, as far as my faction goes, didn't play it. I probably entered my Falcon probably twice. I think I opened up some packs I got because I pre-ordered the game um, back when 2K22 first was about to come out. So I think I got some packs just because of that. I opened them. I never did it. I did like probably one match, one match. And I did it like a month ago. Okay, and Madden to my team and Ultimate Team players, I guess it'll be fun to them. But even to them, I've talked to a few player, people who play that mode, those modes, and it's just like, they don't care. But I think the biggest thing I want to see as far as improvements, I'm just a big fan of universe mode and I really want it to be something that is not egregious in its delivery. I want universe mode to be as good as it can be. And I, I, I watched some YouTube video and one of the developers was saying that they're gonna run universe mode the same way they run My Rise as far as cutscenes and stuff goes. So hopefully we get some new stuff. Hopefully we get some stuff that really looks like what we're seeing on TV can open that up and just give us 100% control of what we want to do. It's gonna be an amazing game. 2K22 was not a bad game. Okay, it wasn't a bad game in any sense. It definitely was a huge, huge, huge improvement from 2K20 and hopefully we'll get another top five game. Honestly, we, I haven't played a five-star wrestling game since svr 2011 you know and that that's ridiculous there's no reason why i the last amazing wrestling game i played was when i was 11 years old and i'm pushing 23 right now you know so yeah man 2k23 i need it to just polish up the things that 2k22 missed out on that's all they have to do all the things that you missed out on 2k22 make sure that 2k23 polishes i don't want to see the same glitches the same animations the same cutscenes. I don't want to see any of that. I need it to be a complete revamp from what 2K22 was because the only way that we're going to get anywhere with these games is with evolution, not by just making a roster update, changing some attires and some entrance musics and then saying, oh, here, new game. No, there's much more that goes into making a wrestling game and hopefully they'll be able to deliver. Once again, huge shout out to JC Pentagon and huge shout out to Loft Not Famous for jumping on the channel to talk about what they thought of WW2K22. I also want to know what y'all think of the game, so make sure to comment what y'all thought of it, answer those questions. What do y'all expect out of WW2K23? I think it should be a fun year, especially content-wise. Stay tuned, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification so you get notified every time I drop a video. But yeah, this was the WW2K22 year in review. Stay tuned, like I just said. There's gonna be a lot of 2K23 stuff on the channel. Also, tune into the podcast. We're live every Sunday, and they're really fun and interactive, and we love talking to y'all. So without further ado, thank you for watching. Be safe.